reported that the object was fairly low and made absolutely no sound while flying over the mountain. Due to the high volume of calls, the sightings were brought to the attention of the National UFO Calling Center. Tim Lay was with his wife, son, and grandson during the time of the incident. He had been outside with his son in the front yard just after 8 p.m. that evening when they both noticed a tiny arc of five lights floating in the distance. In denial of what he truly believed he was seeing, Tim assumed his eyes were seeing a series of blimps or balloons in the sky. Tim immediately called his wife and grandson outside as the lights began growing larger and larger in size, slowly moving in their direction. Together, Tim and his wife discussed the difficulty of five aircrafts moving together at the exact same distance and speed. It took 15 minutes before the object was overhead. Tim was certain he had witnessed a UFO that day. Reports were made once again in 2007, however, these were quickly debunked. A local Fox News television station reported a reason dropped by F-16 aircraft during training at the Luke Air Force Base in Arizona. On April 21st, 2008, however, locals in North Arizona spotted lights once again, this time in diamond and U-shaped formation. Concerned residents looked for answers. However, Luke Air Force officials denied any activity had been caused by the United States Air Force that particular evening. Controversy had followed as many skeptics tried to put meaning behind what they had seen. Investigators split the two events as distinct cases. The Phoenix Lights incident occurring in 1997 has yet to be explained as there wasn't enough evidence.